there. All right. Thank you. Earlier this week, we showed you some incredibly awkward footage of a Republican trying and failing to block a banner being held up by protesters who were confronting Marco Rubio on this issue on immigration. It was a perfect image of the at times painful clumsiness of the Republican Party as it tries to deal with this issue. Well, now we have yet another illustration of just how awkward Republicans can be on this topic. This time from Georgia Governor Nathan Deal, who had this pretty amazing interaction with an immigration activist. There is a fundamental problem that can only be solved at the congressional level, and that is to deal with the issue of children, and I presume you probably fit the category, children who were brought here. I, I don't. I'm okay. not an illegal immigrant. I'm not an illegal oh, okay. I don't know why you thought that I was Ouch. Then there is Fox News host Bill O'Reilly, who last night wanted to, uh, well, debate two immigration activists about California's immigration policy, and then, despite their very polite demeanor, decided to cut their mics. Here's how it went with his guest, Enrique Morones. Well, what would you all, do, we, Mr. Morones? Bill, we, we, what would we you do little... to stop people from coming in here illegally? What? Well, first of all, there's not 100,000. It's, it's closer what to 60,000. What would you 000. do, Mr. We Morales, last chance, Diego. sir? Last chance. Well, what would you the do same way you came to stop in. it? When, you, when your forefathers and foremothers came right, in, there was no illegal way question. to come. All right, Mr. Morales, so today we, we want to have your time a legal tonight. way to come. We, we appreciate Most of them are not coming. We appreciate your time. And, and the sergeant? What, what, Mr. Johnson, what yes, would sir. you do to stop people from coming in here illegally? You see, they keep, they keep talking, but there's no sound because the mic's cut. O'Reilly later said he had no choice but to cut the mics because, quote, they weren't answering the questions. So joining me now is Enrique Morones, founder and executive director of Border Angels. Enrique, how is your, how is your mic level? Oh, you're not going to cut me off, are you, Chris? <laughs> I don't. I actually have, I, I, I mean this seriously, we have a no mic cutting policy on the show, which Please. enrages viewers sometimes when people, people go on. But